are on Perfect. Right, so here we are in the back of uh, Perfect. Um, there is a 12 volt distribution uh, board in there, battery charger, uh, inverter, quite a low powered one. Um, and this is the 240 in that we need to get into and get find the earth cable that's coming in from the shore power. This particular boat, all this um, equipment is actually coming out and we're gonna to go to a bigger uh, inverter, inverted charger, um, a combi, not a combi, a um, multi-plus, which will handle the charging and the inversion side uh, for the 240 volts. Uh, so we're gonna do all that and probably batteries as well on here. So quite a lot of work to do on here, but right now this boat has never had a galvanic isolator fitted. So um, I'm gonna put that in because now it's plugged into a marina really could do with that down here so I'm gonna get on with that find a place to put it so um, it's not too obtrusive because all this the, all this is gonna move right let's get on with that then right in the interest of today this is the main cable in and there is the earth coming in that one there nice and short which makes my life a little bit more difficult but what I'm going to do, because we're taking all this out and that cable is actually non-marine anyway, it's just flex. When we come round to it, we're going to take this out and put uh, Arctic flex in. So what I'm going to do for today is connect the galvanic isolator up to what we have. Uh, let's get in the light there. So I'm going to extend that cable so we can, we can put the galvanic isolator in. But what we're not going to do because the wood is all very, very nice, is bolted up here somewhere that's going to cause us a problem at some point when we come to do the other things. So what I'll do, I think I'm just going to light, put the board back, light down there, and that'll be fine there till, because that the, the, I know the customer wants to get this done pretty quickly. So we'll get the protection in now. Then when I come back to do the other stuff, we'll, it'll all be widening, because all the, like I say, all this has got to be stripped out. But the batteries look good. The tray's good. They're covered. Good. Uh, really nice boat, but I'm not showing you around the boat. That's not what I'm doing. It's just what I'm doing on the boat. So really good. A few things we can improve on for sure. They want to go to gels or AGMs. We can do that. Bigger inverter for washing machine, which will give them a bigger charger as well in the MultiPlus. So um, that's what we're going to do. So I'll go and get some earth cable and we'll, um, we'll quickly uh, rig this up so that they have got some galvanic protection. What is galvanic protection? Hmm. Right, so here's that earth. So even though this is a temporary job, there's no such thing as a temporary job. So it still has to be uh, compliant with everything that uh, we do. But this, this connector, it's perfectly well, it's perfectly good hang on and then this one also oh it's hot in here <laughs> the joys of working inside a boat in the summertime and then you go outside and you get burned to a crisp out there as well okay So I'm just going to crimp that up. Just give that a little bit of a, a pull, make sure it's got it, which it has. So here's the Victron galvanic isolator. One side is marked up boat and the other one is marked up shore. So that earth that's coming in is going to go to this shore connection here. Now what I've noticed with these before, the locking screw is always loose. So that just needs to be nipped down uh, before we actually try and tighten the outer screw up. And again, I put the wrong, <laughs> put the wrong crimps. Oh well, back to the van on my bike, a day in the life. So anyway, what does this do? Um, 
basically there's a couple of diodes in here that are back to back diodes are low current in one direction only and you need 0.7 volts to switch the diode on between the anode and the cathode sounds all a bit woohoo whatever but we're not going to get into that too far basically because of that 0.7 volts anything below that won't won't this won't allow it to pass now those those very low voltages are what cause galvanic corrosion you will you um your zinc anodes to fizz and disappear metal off your hull to disappear uh, magnesium and things on outboard motors to disappear it only takes a small voltage difference between one metal and certainly dissimilar metals than the other and current will pass and take material with it strangely in the opposite direction because current does not not get into that just yet but yes what this does is block those let's say transient voltages that allow current to start to flow between this boat and that boat or the pontoon in this boat so it, it, it blocks them it's only the earth that actually is in common with all the boats that are in a marina only the earth so that's where this sits earth comes in connects to the shore earth goes out and then that connects to the boat so that's all that really is it's quite simple this is a victron one there are plenty others about this is one that bolts actually and connected all the time inside the boat you can get the ones that just fit on the lead that go into the into the plug in, in the, on the on the on the pontoon uh, but this one will stay with the boat all the time so when you plug in you're always protected so that's what a galvanic isolator is that's sort of what it does uh, and i'm going to go and fetch the right connectors because i've been a bit of a numpty uh they're six mil and i've bought the really really tiny ones and really they should be blue anyway so um, I'm going to get the blue ones and I'll be back. Like I said, I would normally screw this to the wall. Find a location for it. But I don't want to do that uh, today. We can find a better home for it when we... properly normally when I drop it uh, something it disappears into the middle, it? so that's the sure one simple as that really Use the right size crimp, right size hole, and all I've got to do now is put that onto the earth bar on the boat. Need a bit more cable, um, and that will be okay for now. So this is the one that goes up to the earth bar in the little consumer unit, and that will go onto the terminal marked up boat. So that's as simple as that is earth in this will change because i have put a connector in it's okay i wouldn't recommend it permanently but it's okay um, and then this one goes up to the earth bar that's up there again all these flexibles <coughs> really need uh boot lace fells on them so i'll do that next time just put the cover back on there and it's just like i say it's working you can't tell um but like I say, I would normally fix it to a wall somewhere using those four mounting points there. Okay, let's put this cover on. So one thing I need to check when I come back and redo everything is that there is an actual earth connected to the um, the hull of the boat as well. So narrow boats, the ground should be connected, um, the negative should be connected to the hull, but also where there's 240 volts installed, the ground, the earth cable, or an earth cable, should also be connected to the hull. 
I suspect this one probably hasn't because it's never had a galvanic isolator uh, installed and it's been in a marina for most of its life. It has toured all over the place, but I suspect there's no earth on that hull. So when I come back and do all of this, I will, um, I will make sure there is an earth on that hull. In the meantime, what the customer's asked me to do, which is fair enough, is just to make sure that that isolator is there uh, and wired. There is a lot of woodwork and stuff to move here to gain access to everything and we'll take a, a it's, it's one of those, let's do that just in case, um, and then we'll do everything else uh, as we need to. Right, on to something else. I hope that was informative. Uh, basically a galvanic isolator, lots of space in here. Just the same thing as a transformer, isolation transformer, if you've seen those. It just isolates the currents on the on the earth um, from each other, basically. And and I don't see many um, isolation transformers on narrow boats. I see them sometimes on Dutch barges and bigger boats. But on narrow boats, a galvanic isolator is perfectly good, and that will protect the hull from that uh, galvanic corrosion. Okay, happy days. That's in sort of. Uh, time to go and do something else. Hope you've enjoyed that or found it informative. It is that easy, folks. Earth in to shore, earth out to boat. Happy days, simple, nothing to worry about. Use the right size cable, use the right crimps. You'll be fine, okay? Right, I hope you found that informative. See you next time, guys. Um, take care and press that subscribe button if you want to keep in touch with all the other videos. Um, lots to come. Okay, see you next time. Bye.